A shark bite off Surf City, North Carolina during the July 4th holiday marks the eighth encounter between a swimmer and a shark in the state in the past month. That's more than usual. You can guess what happened next. Shark attacks. Shark attacks in North Carolina. It's along the coast of North Carolina. Two hours apart, same North Carolina beach. Before long, Jaws herself swam into the headlines, all the better to celebrate the movie's 40th anniversary this summer. Eight bites in one month, much less one summer, is a high number in any region. The Florida Museum of Natural History's shark attack file has recorded 23 U.S. bites in 2015, before the holiday weekend pacing slightly ahead of the 30 to 40 bites total usually recorded each year. Although there have been some serious injuries, no victims in North Carolina have died. The only shark-related fatality recorded this year occurred off Hawaii. There were none at all in 2014. And though the incidents in North Carolina are certainly an anomaly, more people have been bitten off Florida this year than any other state, in line with historical trends. Still, it's fair to ask why this is happening in North Carolina now. I have not encountered in my 16 years one shark attack. Among the quoted explanations offered in U.S. press, a higher local human population, sea turtle season, nearby fisheries, currents, high salinity, which sharks like, and the warmer than usual waters. None of these possibilities are necessarily wrong. None of them are likely to explain all the bites either. Researchers can only identify factors, not direct causes. One thing it's definitely not, a rogue shark, which doesn't exist. Sorry, Jaws. Instead, researchers are more likely to point out that thousands of people drown at the beach every year, compared to about one shark-related death, or that the Natural Resources Defense Council estimated 10% of U.S. beaches feature unacceptable levels of sickness-causing bacteria, or that you're more likely to face injury driving to the beach than because of anything you encounter there. Put another way, these incidents are cause for study and caution on the East Coast, nothing more. But we hear you. In case you're wondering, you should do a very simple thing if a shark pays you a visit off the coast. Fight back aggressively and get out of the water as soon as you can. If you're the one in the roughly 1 in 11.2 million who are bitten in America this year, now you know. probably because of lack of FaceTime, but they should. A solid range is about $2 to $5 per night. $5 minimum for room service.